Howdy, welcome back to Bad Writing. My name is Joshua Fields Milburn. I'm an Emmy nominated and New York Times bestselling author and a writing instructor at howtowritebetter.org. Now today we're gonna to talk about something we don't usually talk about, poetry. Here's a confession. I was not into poetry for many years. Even after becoming an author, I couldn't pick up poetry and really get it. Now, I figured out why, finally. Most poetry sucks. Most poetry is just bad writing. And I couldn't figure that out until I found some really beautiful, good poetry. We're gonna start with some bad poetry though. This is from the Paris Review, this periodical, it's a quarterly, it comes out, well, quarterly. It's one of my favorite things to read because there's so much variety in here. There's interviews with different authors, memoirists, novelists, poets, but then there's poetry in here. There is art in here. There's short stories in here. There are often snippets from novellas in here. And I'll flip through it. I'll read passages to my daughter. And quite often she won't understand the poetry, but quite often I won't understand it either. Here's a poem. This is from John Kinsella. It's called Red-Capped Parrot Sinusure. Sunset in the valley, which is still some time away from official sunset, this inland of an earlier nautical twilight, but at the fastigium of the dead central limb of a York gum at the southwest corner of the red shed. <laughs> a red cap parrot highlights, or is highlighted. What the hell are they talking about, right? Because it's like, I don't, I see myself in this at all. And I'm sure the words are beautiful. And I'm sure this person's talented, but this doesn't resonate with me. Now, if it resonates with you, please let me know. Perhaps I'm simply missing something, but I will tell you, this poetry resonates with me. This is Rupi Kaur. She is my favorite poet. At one point, I, did, I didn't know who she was. I was walking with my wife, and she had to stop to use the bathroom, so we stopped in a bookstore, and I was waiting outside the bathroom for her to come out, and I just picked up this book. I said, huh, what an interesting, simple cover. The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. And I flipped to a random page. It happened to be page 136. And here's what I read. In a dream, I saw my mother with the love of her life and no children. It was the happiest I'd ever seen her. Oh. Now that resonates with me on so many levels because it's about alternate pasts, alternate futures, what could have been. In fact, the title of this poem is What If? What if? What if my mother hadn't have had me and uh, what if she was happier? Mm. What if I am the source of her misery or discontent? I didn't choose to be here, right? And so it's quite the conundrum. It's just a few short sentences. And I remember tearing up the first time I read that because it said so concisely something that I felt in my heart. And that is what good poetry does. That's what good writing does. It makes us feel something in our hearts that we've known in our heads all along. And you can go anywhere else in this book. You can flip to any of these beautiful little poems and you'll find something that feels like life. If you want some more writing tips, I have a free book you can download. It's called 15 Ways to Write Better. And you can take any of those tips, you can read the whole book in an hour, but you can use them today to improve your writing right now. Head on over to howtowritebetter.org or click the link in the description to download it today.